ECDL Advanced Word Lesson 41 Cross-Referencing Cross-referencing is a method of placing a reference in a document which refers to an item elsewhere in the document such as a heading, a bookmark, a caption, etc. When a cross-reference is created there are a variety of options for the reference text including page number, heading text, bookmark text, etc. If the cross-reference is defined as a hyperlink, pressing control and clicking on it will take you directly to the target location. We've been asked to open references. This is available on the screen now. This document already contains bookmarks, captions, and numbered items. What we're going to do is we're going to create various types of reference. So just so we can have a quick look through it, here's the first page, then the house, the gardens, various figures, pets corner, gift shop, tea room, and then opening times with a particular table. So, let's go to the top, right up to the top. So, position the cursor after Elizabeth I in the first paragraph, so that's over here, and type brackets, page, and then for the moment a space. We're now going to be putting in a cross-reference. So, we go for the references section, select cross-reference from the captions group, and from the reference type, make sure you're selecting bookmark. At that point, a list of all the bookmarks can now be seen. From insert reference to, select page number. And we want to select the bookmark for Elizabeth. Make sure the insert as hyperlink is ticked. That way a dynamic link between the reference and the referenced text will be created. And at that stage click insert to create the cross reference and then press close. We will still need to put a close bracket after that reference. If we now position the mouse pointer over the cross reference page number, what we will see now is a caption and this at the moment says Elizabeth, control click to follow link. So I'm going to press control and then click. And as I do, it takes me to the associated paragraph. Next, on page one, so let's get back up there again. Just after the house, I want to do open brackets, page, space, and then we're going to add in a reference. So, selecting references and then cross-reference. This time, for the reference type, select heading. And insert the reference to page number. Ensure we're selecting the heading, the house, then insert and close. And then we can put our closing brackets on the end. So that is telling us that the paragraph for the house is on page two. And if we look down, what you will find is the heading for the house is on page two. Okay, what we now want to do is to set up all of the others in the same way, the gardens, pets corner, gift shop and the tea room. So for the gardens, for pets corner, for the gift shop, and finally for the tea room.
What we will need to do is put the closed brackets on the end of each of these. Now if everything's gone according to plan, the house, as we know, is on page 2. The gardens should be on page 2. Correct, the gardens on page 2. Then the pet's corner should be on page 3. Correct. And the other two, the gift shop and the tea room, should both be on page 4. That's absolutely perfect. Next, up to the top of the document again. If we go to page 1 and place the cursor at the end of paragraph 1, so over here, and type the words, see further information in paragraph number, put in a space. This time we want to insert a cross-reference to a numbered item. So reference, cross-reference. This time we're going to want a numbered item and we want to select item 1, uh, which is a guided tour of the house, includes a visit to the royal bedchamber, etc. In insert reference to, select paragraph number and then click insert and then close to close the cross-reference dialog box. The final thing we'll need to do is to complete the sentence with a full stop. So now we'll see, see further information in paragraph number one. Next, after the list, this list here, we want to type C opening times page and then insert a cross reference to a table. So we're going to do references, cross references. This time we're going to link to a table, which you'll find at the bottom. Reference to page number and choose table 1. So it'll be see opening times on page 4. If we have a quick look down to page 4, we will find indeed that is where the opening times are because table 1 is there. Next, move to page 2. And place the cursor after from the tower in the last paragraph over here and add a space and then we're going to insert a cross reference choose figure as the reference type so figure insert the reference to to be entire caption which it is at the moment and choose the caption for figure 2 at that point insert and close so the only known facts are that in 1701, Tarquin, aged 43, jumped to his death from the tower. Let's get this in brackets. Figure 2. And the other thing I want to do is to see what happens if we follow the link. So control, click, and it takes us to figure 2, which has the picture of the tower. OK, so we've tried out the various cross-references. At that stage, what I'd like you to do is please to save this as cross-ref and then, even though we've got it saved, I'd like you to leave it open because the next lesson we're going to be looking at will actually require you to continue working on this particular document. Okay, just as an aside, if you want to delete any types of cross-reference, first of all, you've got to select it. You can do that by either double-clicking on the cross-reference or clicking and dragging across it to select it. At that point, press delete and that will remove the selected cross-reference. Okay, I hope this has made some sense. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.